Hello and hey. happy car vlog. Ooh. <laughs> it's a home vlog, but we're starting it in the car. Starting it in the car. You yeah. know what they say about when you're starting it in the car? Usually you're headed to Target. Oh yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> we are headed to Target. <laughs> Wasn't sure where you were going with that one. Where are we going? But we do need Target. to go to Target because we had some cold weather last week. It was like one when, day. when we were camping. I don't yeah. know if you've seen those videos yet. If you haven't, they'll be out like soon. But we were camping and, well, we were RV camping. But it was chilly and Jackson doesn't have, we realized, doesn't have any long pants that really fit him. He has two pairs. So they fit his waist, but they don't fit his ankles. He's so gonna have cold ankles. He's he's very like slender and tall. So we need to find some that are like a slimmer fit. So we're gonna go to Target and see what they have. But we also found some really good ones at Uniqlo, but Uniqlo is a little bit farther away from than us than Target. So we're gonna check Target first. Yeah. So we thought, why not take you guys with us on a little, a little Target vlog? See if we can find Lewis again. Oh yeah, some people were saying that Lewis either isn't there or isn't saying that he's Lewis anymore. I feel like he still is. He was just like going through his loop of sayings oh. and they just didn't like stick around long enough. But also, he's been sold out. Oh yeah, because we looked at maybe buying one and they were like, no. <laughs> I feel like he, he maybe he's not saying anything because, maybe he's not saying it because that was the thing that made him like, there was like lines at Target to see Lewis. Yeah, I think your brother went to Target and there was a line of people like trying to take a picture with him. Yeah. <laughs> with the, the, the jack-o'-lantern, not the jack-o'-lantern. His with Lewis. Lewis, yeah. Yeah. So, no. Oh. I also have, so I, Tim found these fun snacks at Publix the other day. These are crispy, crispy dillies. Crispy fried cucumbers with dill flavoring. Ooh. So I thought I would try these with you guys while we're in the car on our way to Target. What do you think? Car, car mukbang. Car mukbang. But not really, because I'm just gonna try like one. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Oh, okay, so it's like a topping. Yeah, you're supposed to put it like on, instead of like crispy onions. Oh, I thought you just, I thought they were just snacks. I thought you just eat them, but Maybe it says. You can do whatever you want. Great for burgers, great for mac and cheese, and great for potato salad. Wow, okay. Yeah, I want also, put them on a burger. That sounds amazing. It also says it's great on pulled pork sandwiches. That's it, okay, That's pulled it. pork. That's the only other thing it's good on. Okay. Pork sandwiches. Let's try. Let's give it a try. Let me give it a sniff first. Give it a little deep breath in. Oh, okay. So it smells like a fried pickle. Oh, yeah. It smells exactly like a fried pickle. There's no difference in smell. But it feels like, I don't know if you can see. Let me get out of the way. It feels like a chip. Potato so it's, chip? yeah, like a potato chip. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It I has a, be blown away. It has a sweetness. Oh. That's weird. Well, because they're not pickled. Yeah, they're cucumbers. It's not it tastes sour. like it is sour. It's is like it? sweet. Here, it tastes. Okay, give it a try. That's so strange. Yeah, it tastes like a super crispy fried pickle. Do you taste the sweetness? Yeah, it's good. I like it. It tastes like a fried pickle, but without the pickle on the inside pickle flavoring but like a teeny bit sweet so it's like a little tangy a little sour a little tiny bit sweet very crunchy really want to try it on a hamburger yeah I think it's, these would be really good on a hamburger yeah for sure huh well there you go try them crispy dillies one day I hope to come here when the sign is flashing and we can recreate that uh, what are those things called the ta -ta 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 target a vine oh vine a vine I want to recreate oh. a vine for those of you younger I folks, the say. vine was what happened before TikTok. Well, for, then it was it was musically and then TikTok. Yeah. Christmas is starting now. By the way, uh, there's no music inside of Target right now. It feels like kind of eerie. We have to eerie. Ooh, spooky even. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Holy macaroni! That's like 135 dollars. Pretty 160. Yeah. Pretty expensive. Is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, so, it's 25 percent off though. The, oh, well. Should we get some? Yeah. Just yeah. for us, not for the kids. Oh yeah, no. National Geographic advent calendar. Let's what see. do you get? Minerals? <laughs> Dinosaurs, it looks like. Oh, it's and a real kit. fossils. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. 24 dinosaur figures. These things take so long to dig out. Oh, it, and it's like a dig kit. Okay. All right. Okay. We've tried this. It's hard. <laughs> it's not easy. If you're thinking about getting this for a child, I wouldn't. Ooh, what's this one? 20, 12 days of beauty. Oh, look. Uh, 11 100 piece ornament shaped puzzles and one 300 piece tree puzzle. Who's Fizz? 
Oh, these are bath bombs. Oh, okay. I thought this this ranger's name was Fizz. I was like, that's oh, Rudolph. But the bombs also have a surprise inside. Oh, what do they have inside? Does it give us like a little preview? No. No. Oh, it was created by a pair of teenage sisterpreneurs. Sisterpreneurs? What is this? An advent calendar for cats? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> what, what do you, how do they open it? Oh, you get salmon, seaweed, oh, they're cat treats. Oh. But wow. how do you how do they open it? How do they do they know numbers? They don't have thumbs. Some of them do. Oh that's true, they do, yeah. Right? Yeah. But like they need to know where like how do they know what number one is? And it's all out of order. And cats don't know how to don't, figure this out. Don't just assume that my cat is dumb, okay? Your cat's not dumb. <laughs> Real quick. So I didn't look at this is an advent calendar. It's called Favorite Day with milk chocolate. Right? Flip it over. When I first saw this, I thought those were those little like holders that go in the size of corn. <laughs> I was like, why are they giving those things out? <laughs> why not? Right? What is this? An advent calendar for dogs? <laughs> this one's much thicker than the advent calendar for cats. Dogs are getting a better deal. Oh, they get cookies? My goodness. The cats got seaweed and the dogs get cookies? <laughs> Holy cow. Ooh, Ooh what's this? this? Looks good. Oh yeah, look at that. Raspberry flavored dark chocolate. Dark wow. chocolate with sea salt, that's my jam. Mm. I feel like we should get some of these for our friends who don't have targets. Oh, okay. Like our friends in the UK or our friends in Canada. Okay. And they can taste our terrible American chocolate. Hmm. This, this is this is not terrible. Look at the front. It tells me it's not terrible. It tells me that they're indulgent. I feel like bad things can be indulgent. Well, every bad thing is indulgent. No, I mean like bad, like bad. Oh, bad. <laughs> I love the juxtaposition of the nutcrackers right next to the Halloween stuff. We're in the in-between time. Halloween hasn't even happened yet. There's Christmas trees and pumpkins. This is like seasonal purgatory. Yeah, I love it. Oh. Good news, Jen. What? Small skulls and pumpkins are on sale. Oh, we need some pumpkins. We need some small skulls, don't we? <laughs> we got pumpkins and Christmas trees out and bathing suits. But also like your pajamas to stay warm. Oh, look at that puppy vest. The pink one? Yeah. Oh, these mm. are so cute. And a whole like, uh, whole like family thing. With the slippers. Yes. Look at that. Oh, what fun. So here's my problem. Jen's all into it now. She's like, we need to get matching pajamas for everybody. But it is so hot here all the time, even through Christmas. You don't know? We're supposed to have an unseasonably cold... Warm. No, we're supposed to have an unseasonably cold Christmas. Are we? Yes, I told you that. The Farmer's Almanac said. Okay, let me ask you this. What? How is it unseasonably cold if it's the cold season? For Florida. Oh, okay. But like even Jackson, we can, oh, I want to do this. Okay. <laughs> you sure you don't want to do this one? There's this one too. This one. It's got like ornaments on it. No, I like this one because we sit, sit in front of the tree. Oh yeah. And that would be cute. Oh, and there's the adult version over there. Yeah. Okay. Like how cute would that be? We'll be matching. That's true. We oh. had matching pajamas, like Disney pajamas when Jackson was a little baby. We took I one picture. I'll put it in here. He, he hated it. He was just crying the whole time. This will be Oliver's first Christmas. Oh no, they weren't pajamas. They were they were sweaters. Yeah. Remember, it was literally when we brought him home, and I still have the sweater. Mall. It's like this big. It's so cute. Yes. We should get these. These like matching sets of these. That's this? what I want. Yeah. No, I want these. Like fun pajamas. Like I'll wear my. We know we need one of those like long dress shirts, like Ebenezer Scrooge Pretty wears. With like the hat. With the hat. <laughs> Let's take those pictures. I like that here in Florida we can get all kinds of different things like if we had visited New York or the Turks and Caicos or Newport, New Jersey. Oh, I kind of like these. What? What's Newport? What, it's, isn't it in New Jersey? This one's just nature. Nurture. Is it nurture? Oh look at that nature and nurture. Wow. <laughs> what a fun day. Oh they're coffee. Oh no, it's not coffee, it's a football. I thought it was a coffee bean. What? <laughs> it's just Snoopy catching a coffee bean. Hey! <laughs> oh no, I gotta show you what I found. Hold this. Did you find this bluey stuff? No, I didn't. It's adorable. Also ACDC. Oh yeah. Shout out. Okay. Malibu Barbie. Oh yeah, that's fun. This one's cute. Isn't it? Yeah, I love it. So I had a newborn outfit for Jackson. When he first came home from the hospital, he never got to wear it though because it was too cold. And uh, look at this one. Oh, okay, yeah, I love it. Oh, winter time. Well, because it's going to be... No, unseasonably cold. Yeah, I know, you told me. Okay, this one I love. Oh, yeah, that's nice. How cute. Okay. And we have, like, onesies to go under. The hipster. And then I think that's it, but I also just saw this. 
Should we get him a little oh, robe? A little robe. Oh, what, isn't that so cute? That is cute. I think Jackson it? would like a robe. Jackson would like a robe. He liked the one. So when we stayed on the fantasy, our suite, the room that we had, came with a kid robe, like a little one for him, and he loved it. But we don't have one at home. Should we get him one? That seems excessive, but okay. Wouldn't he like it? I mean, sure. Well, like one time, maybe. I think he would like it. Okay. Let's do it. I want Jackson to wear this shirt. What is it? The little blue one? Yeah, look at that. Oh, I think it's a two-piece set. I love it. It's cool. Oh, look at this little orange jacket. Oh, yeah. That's little hoodie on there. <laughs> That's fun. That's cute. Oh, yeah. It's like triceratops. I just love the feel. Oh, yeah. Look at these kids. These are the coolest kids in town. Poor TVs. We could get one for Jackson, and then there's matching pants. Yeah. We had to figure out, we didn't measure how long the pants needed to be. I think you'd have to get like big ones. I brought the pants. Time. You so brought, brought the pants. Yeah, I brought the pants with us so that we can... Like hold up these next to them and just see. Yeah, because these look these look pretty skinny. Yeah. All right, let's... I wish we got a cart. We always do this. We never get a cart. You know what Fancy Nancy says? What? Tre Magnifique. This is what he needs right here, right? What is it? That's oh, it. this? Oh. No, no, the, the Christmas tree hat. Oh, I thought you meant the... No, this, I know. I was, Nancy would totally wear it. It was this. a joke. Oh. I was joking. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, for the baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Put it on the baby's head. <laughs> Looks like a Christmas tree. Oh my, with the, with the matching. Yeah, with the matching pajamas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're kidding, but I'm like, we should totally get this. I like this. Well, see, we looked at this when it was actually like time to get it. When we bought the other Halloween stuff, they didn't have a size. I know. They still don't. Hmm. No, no, too small. What the heck? I like how this is sort of silly, but not quite. Well, it's funny because it's been Halloween in Orlando for so long right? that when you said, you said, oh, we gotta go check out the Halloween stuff. And I was like, why? It's Halloween's over. Halloween, the section's already being converted to Thanksgiving. It hasn't even, I can't believe they didn't, they, they didn't skip it this time. Usually they skip it and just go right to Christmas. Let's go straight to Christmas. Like, I can't believe Halloween has not actually happened yet. Right? That's it's been, been Halloween here since August. Yeah. I saw a guy like already returning his Halloween costume. He's like, ah, I'm done with he it. He already went to the party. He's like, it's over. Look, like, yeah, they're clearing it up. It's already, it's already being taken down. Yeah, we're in Christmas now. Look at that. Oh, that's my Christmas skeleton. I want this little Ooh. ghosty back there. That oh yeah, cute. definitely Lewis is gone. They put him in the trash can. No, Sorry, I think everybody. Was, I think he was sold out. But yeah, look at this. Halloween hasn't even happened yet. And they're like, let's get it off the shelves. Shut it down. We're not doing it anymore. It's Christmas. This is interesting. It's like a full out, you get Funko Pop ornaments. Oh. Huh. I love this. A little like mushroom spoon? Yeah, and it's like for serving your Halloween. For yeah. serving your mushrooms and carrots? Yeah. <laughs> I think you can serve anything with this, but like, isn't that fun? Yeah, I, I like it. it. I like that Target's like trying to, this is like Baymax and Groot had a baby. Why wouldn't the cheese knives look like cheese? Because they're for they're for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, mushroom squash and oh, carrots. It's I think this is so cute. I like this. Oh, this is where your turkey goes. Yeah, you put your your already cooked turkey on top of an already cooked <laughs> turkey, or you put it on top of a, a live one. And Ooh, you're like, this that's, is it. That's kind of this a little what bit. It used to be. Oh, this is hefty. I thought this was gonna be plastic. Yeah, no, it's size for holding a big turkey. Wow. Who's this guy? John. He loves turkeys. He that's does. His, that's his pet turkey. Signature to his <laughs> stuffed pet turkey. Oh, that's his like tea kettle warmer. Oh, is it? Right? I don't know. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? This is fun. I like this collection. It reminds me of like your grandma's stuff. You oh, know? Yeah. Like when when things used to be nice. Oh, yeah. This is kind of yeah, like yeah. that, yeah. Look at this. Oh, man, I love this juxtaposition right here. You know, Santa, dogs, polar bears. Uh, neon skeletons, Pringles cans. <laughs> this is great. I love it. This is my favorite aisle right here. We're in the in-between right now. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's waving. I bet you if you push his foot, he waves at oh, he uh, like the gnomes over here. Oh, he does what, a little dance. Why is he saying ho, 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 ho? I like his creaky knees. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, I'm old. Uh, 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 uh. I have creaky knees. Oh, boo. Does that light up? What, why was he saying ho, ho, ho? He's going, ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh. Well, he's, it's, <laughs> they used, to, they used, they used the Santa, Santa laugh. Box. 
They're like, we got a whole bunch of these left. Put them in a Frankenstein. Right? Wait, does this light up though, for real? What is this? What's going on here? Can that's I push? Try me. Oh, that's nice. Got a whole classic Santa left. <laughs> oh, 30% off because Halloween's over. I mean, I thought it was. Look at this. Oh, the eyes follow you a little bit. Creepy. I like that. There he oh, is. Lewis. Oh, it doesn't work. Sorry. Try me. Mm, I tried you. Tried you. You didn't work. <laughs> These oh, are those are fun. The little, like, do you think they do anything? They're just, they just like, for decorations. Yeah, I think they, those look like uh, light up kind of, right? Yeah, like Pandora. But there's no button. And there's no button or switch on the bottom even? I think that, no. Oh, that's a trick. What? Oh, that's like the trick and trick or treat. Oh, okay. There you go. I love this in between town. This is great. Yeah, you've heard of Halloween town? You've heard of Halloween town? Welcome to. Oh, he's giving me a little heart. That's so lovely. Hell yeah. Sorry. Christmas lights right next to Halloween candy. This is the greatest. Listen, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say we need to stop doing this. Okay? What? You don't, you don't throw Skittles in at the end there. Nobody's going to eat those Skittles. They're Jackson, gonna eat Jackson like Skittles. Right, but that's not the point. You do yeah. another thing with Skittles and Starburst and stuff like that. Stop throwing the Starburst and the Skittles in with the chocolate. You tell them. You're like, yeah. And my on my platform, I'll do. Yeah. Like get rid of the do another bag with those in them. I feel like you should run for like the mayor of Halloween Town. Oh, I'm gonna dethrone that guy with the spinny head. Who's that? Is he the mayor? Yeah. Oh. He has his own popcorn bucket. How am I gonna top that? <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> See, these guys got it, right? Baby Ruth, Butterfinger, Crunch, 100 grand. All chocolate, no nonsense. Oh, this was even worse, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I said get rid of these, I pointed to these two. Oh, Right. Sorry, stop listening. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay, this happens, you know. See, like, you can throw in one that nobody really likes. It's fine. I like them, enjoy. This, this right here. Oh. You're killing me. Are you gonna throw in gummy bears in there? Oh gosh. There it is. There's Santa in a wheelchair. That's actually made so of felt. Amazing. Look at that. I really love that they're like, they're so inclusive with everything. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that when we walked by. It's pretty neat. That's really cool. Good job, Target. So Mrs. Myers has their like fall line out, and a few of them we got. Like we got the, oh, Snowdrop. What does Snowdrop smell like? That's the, the character from Bluey. Um, Iowa Pine, we got that. We got the orange clove one, we got that, but then like some of these other ones, like fall leaves, it smells like decomposing leaves on the ground. Like it smells like dirt to me. Like how are you gonna have a soap that smells like dirt? I like the idea of trail mix with a spooky hand dishing it out as if you're giving it out for Halloween. Oh man, look at these pepperoni pizzas. I kinda wanna take this home and eat it. It looks so good. All right, so it's a little bit later. We're back home. We got Jackson from school. We're getting dinner ready. I'm making a salad that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, the baby is down here. Hi. Hi, Oliver. Did you find the buttons on your shirt? You did. He said, I got some buttons on my shirt. See? You see? Oh, you want the, you want the camera. I don't know if you can see, but he's got the camera, like little cord thingy. Do we love it? I think we love it. Hold on, are you vlogging? You wanna say, you wanna say hello? Good uh, job, that was a good H sound. Huh, huh, hello. Good job. <laughs> so we're doing dinner. I've got some chicken thighs, oops, shadow. I've got some chicken thighs marinating and some barbecue sauce. We're gonna grill those up. We haven't used the grill in a bit because we haven't been home. Yeah, I just got the grill all cleaned off. Yeah, so one of my favorite things to grill is um, chicken thighs. Sorry, I have a cowlick on this side. And so this, I need to like figure out how to tame this. This side doesn't have it, but this side, wild. I don't know what's doing here. I have a cowlick like right there. You see that? <laughs> anyway, so we're getting dinner ready. I love grilling chicken thighs. The fat on the chicken thighs just makes for like a really nice grilled chicken. Yeah, it's pretty quick too. It's so easy. They're already like pounded thin because they're just like made that way. The bones are gone. Yeah, they got no bones. They got no bones. <laughs> so, but I wanted to talk to you about this salad. So I don't know if you've seen this video yet, but we ate at Steakhouse 71. I, I don't think you've seen this video yet, but it is coming. 
We had this delicious salad at Steakhouse 71. It's their chopped salad. And I ordered it because we had been eating like hot dogs and barbecue for the week. And I'm like, I just, I need a vegetable. Like, give me a vegetable. So I got that salad and it was so good. It was like the highlight of my meal. So I thought I got everything for the salad just based on the description on the website and from what I could remember. And it was, um, they used iceberg lettuce, but I have some romaine, uh, some carrot, cucumber, craisins, goat's cheese. They use white balsamic, but I could not find white balsamic for the life of me at our grocery store. And I Googled about like, what's the difference between white balsamic and regular balsamic. And they said there's not really much difference. Uh, so I don't know. So I got this like creamy balsamic and I'm ho hoping that it'll be similar in flavor. And then I also am adding these sliced almonds, but when I had the salad, it actually had sunflower seeds on it, but it wasn't listed on the website. So I was kind of bummed that I forgot to get those at the store. So the closest thing I have is a sliced almond. And then it also had sliced radish, but that wasn't listed on the website either. So this is sort of like my take on that salad, I guess. But one day I will make it exact because it was so good. I just have to find the white balsamic and I couldn't find it. So anyway, I'm gonna make that now. Okay, so here's a look at the salad. It hasn't been dressed yet, so it's naked. It's a naked salad, don't look at it. But this is the salad. But I think it looks very beautiful. So we're sitting down to eat dinner and I just realized that I, I didn't show you the food. Mm. <laughs> we were so hungry. So I just made some rice, but this is the chicken. And the chicken turned out so delicious. I just literally marinated it in the Sweet Baby Ray's just regular barbecue sauce. We also have some of their spicy sauce, which I really do like their spicy barbecue sauce, but Tim's not a fan of spicy, so I just marinated it in the regular sauce for maybe like 30, 45 minutes, and then Tim grilled it. Delicious, it turned out great. Chicken thighs are just so like, they're fatty, but not in a bad way. So they're, they're just, they're never dry. So when you grill them, it just tastes so good. They just turn out so delicious. Highly recommend grilling some chicken thighs with some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. You'll love it. I didn't like it. But you didn't like it? Yeah. Why didn't you like it? Because it was too spicy. It wasn't spicy. It was it sweet. Was it was sweet. a little bit spicy, so I need to drink water. Okay. All right, well, Jackson thought it was too spicy. I didn't think it was spicy at all. What did you think? Delicious. Okay. But did you think it was spicy? No. Okay. What did you think? <laughs> What did you think, buddy? Did you enjoy your um, your rice cereal, your oatmeal cereal? Yeah? <laughs> All right, eat your rice, bud. Jackson's loving the rice. And thus draws to close another day at Target. We had too much fun at Target. Not enough fun. We spent way too much money. I think Target, the reason why we don't go very often, I, it, it probably seems like we go often, but we really don't. You cannot go to Target without spending way too much money. That's true. You can't. It's It's been like scientifically proven. I could do it. I don't know if you could. Scientist, come at me. <laughs> Who is this Target scientist? <laughs> I'd like to know that. Is it the, the dog, Spot? What's yeah. the dog's name? Is it Spot? He went to school. He went to... What's a scientist school? MIT. MIT. Yeah. No, I said it first. Oh, I was just repeating what you said. Because <laughs> I was thinking about Air Bud. Where did he go to school? I don't think you go to basketball school. No, I know that you don't go to school for <laughs> basketball. But like he got a scholarship because of basketball. I don't think he... Is that the, is that the plot for Air Bud? He, it's like Air Bud number three. He went to college. Is that the plot for Air Bud? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for spoiling it if I did. We should watch. I've never seen it. We should watch it. Let's do it. Is that... Was, was Zac Efron in Air Bud? I have no idea who was in Air Bud. I'm pretty sure he was in, or somebody that looks like him. One of the Zack and Cody's. Who's that? I don't think it was him. It was like a blonde haired kid. Was it? With like a bowl cut. We're going to watch Air Bud and get back to you guys. Um, let us know if we should do that for a future We're home not going to watch Air Bud. Air yeah, Bud. Jackson might like to see it. Maybe. He watches movies now. He's he a, loves, movie, a movie a movie connoisseur. Movie aficionado. He loves movies. He loves Air Bud. <laughs> he doesn't know. We don't know yet. We got to watch order, it. Is there like a specific, is there like a prequel that we need to watch? No, you just start with the first one. <laughs> I know, but what if it's like the chronological Airbud, Air the puppy years? We'll get back to you guys on the Airbud front, but we will watch it and right, we'll watch it. We'll find out where he goes to college. 
Okay. But... If he got his doctorate or not. <laughs> we his dog turret. Dog turret. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but we um we had so much fun at Target. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'm gonna make that salad again because it, it was delicious. I know I didn't show you very much of that salad. It is so good. You should totally make it if you're into, especially if you like goat cheese and like that flavor, like the, the cranberry, you know what I mean? If you like that flavor, I think you'll really like it. I also didn't show you, but I I put croutons in it as well. Cause there uh, are yes, the, the one, the one at Steakhouse 71 has brioche croutons. I couldn't find those at the grocery store. So those I used, are the most delicious croutons. They were so good. I think they they like homemade them. Yeah. So I was looking for pre-made. I'll have to home make them next time. Right, right, right. The salad is definitely worth making if you're into that kind of thing, but I'll make it again the right way for you. Are you and then not I, into salads? I found another. I am. No, it's just like, are you not into trains? What? <laughs> are you not entertained? Yeah, it's not, are you not into trains? That's what he says. Who says? The guy from 300. Is that, is that what he 300? says? Does he say Does that? I am Spartans. Does he, he say that? He says, are you not entertained? Uh. But, you know, maybe he says trains. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too late. Um, but, what was I saying? Oh, I found this other recipe for celery. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to make that in a home vlog with you guys today. Some Not today. To, it's 10 o'clock. I'm, <laughs> I'm not making it today. <laughs> it is 10 o'clock. <laughs> but I want to make it for you guys, um, with you guys in the video sometime soon. Yeah. Uh, anyway, long story short, we had a lot of fun. Let me ask you this. What? So Lewis, right? We didn't see him. He's gone. No. Well, He's made his departure for the year. Yeah. Right? Do you think there's, what would like the, the Christmas viral sensation be? Cause it has to be something like, I'm not, I'm not a, a... Frankenstein Santa Claus. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he really did say ho, ho, ho. Or is it like a person that's like, I'm not Santa Claus. I'm Carl. Carl. Right? It's Carl, Carl the Santa Claus. That's kind of what I feel. I like it. <laughs> we'll keep you updated on that as well. We'll go to Target and we'll see what the, the, the Christmas sensation is. Yeah. But then sometimes I feel like stores or brands will like see that they've, because there's no yeah. telling what goes viral. Yeah. Like anything could go viral for like the stupidest reasons, right? Yeah. I think Lewis went viral for a reason. I don't think it was stupid, but stupider things have gone viral. Right. So then they're going to try to make a viral thing and it won't work. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm not a Christmas tree. I'm Steven. Right. <laughs> and it's like. Right. I think they're going to try too hard. So I don't, I don't think there's, my prediction is there's not going to be a Christmas viral sensation at Target. Okay. That's just, just my opinion. Here's my question. <laughs> Why well, do we have to go to bed? All right. So Spirit Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. They have Halloween stores that pop up. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't anybody do a Christmas store like that? Well, because there already are Christmas stores. Mm. Like there's one at Magic Kingdom. Also, Universal has a Christmas store year round. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I think there's like a big Christmas store in uh, some... There's one at Disney Springs, there's one in Magic Kingdom, there's one no, at Universal. No, like in a city. There's like a city that has like the world's largest Christmas store. We have a city in in Florida called Christmas. Oh, I'll put that video down below. You went there like went on there. Christmas. It wasn't on Christmas Day, but it, it was, was in like December. It was near Christmas. Yeah, there was like a creepy doll in an attic. Was there? Yeah, and it was like talking. I think. Why'd you go in somebody's attic? It's like a pioneer village. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and they had a creepy doll or a mannequin, a little boy mannequin, up in an attic. Hmm. And he's like, I like berries and cream. He's like, I'm up in the attic, jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i'll link that video down below watch it if you like yeah tell me if but it's haunted we had we had a really fun day and thank you so much for hanging out with us and being in this home vlog with us i love doing home vlogs it's like one of my favorite things to do yeah so and i like going to target yeah so i think that i'm gonna try to i said this in an earlier home vlog i'm gonna try to do two videos a day for a little bit if i can yeah occasionally i'm gonna try it yeah let me know if you like it there you go. Okay. All in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that, by the way, I'm wearing my new shirt. My Dodge mm -hmm. Dart shirt. I'm wearing my Life Day Snuggie. Oh, yeah, backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching, I watched all of Rebels. Loved it. Mm. Loved Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, Star Wars Rebels. Started watching Clone Wars. I do not like it. Uh oh. Yeah, it's just, it, that's George Lucas has lost his way. 
Uh -oh. And Dave Filoni found it a ways back, and he's bringing it forward. And George is like, Dave Filoni has made more Star Wars than George Lucas has, and he's made better Star Wars. Do you think that's going to be like a hot take? No. Let us know in the comments how you feel about it. Yeah, tell me who makes a better Star Wars, Filoni or Lucas. Yeah. All right. And on oh, that yeah. note... With that being said, we are <laughs> off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.